welcome back to my channel for those who are new here my name is Luisa and today I am taking you guys to the Goodwill bins so I am currently on a little vacay and um, the hubby's accidentally well, actually I don't even think he knew he booked our hotel literally five minutes away from the Goodwill bins and this morning you know your girl had to hit it up I got my coffee because girl I need it I am so freaking tired it's already, they've been open for an hour, so let's head on in and hopefully we can find some good stuff. sweaters which is fine this jacket i'm kind of iffy about just because i really love the colors but it has this huge yeah i'm gonna leave it behind it has like just a huge stitching but i love this color and like it's just so fun but it's going back in the bins guys look how cool these are these shorts they are a size large and i take them either way i think those are really cute yes do you try to put them in there yeah they're soft Oh, okay. Like if you, yeah. Like the green shoes, well, it's all soft. Thank you. Quantos, quantos sale? Guys, I found some pretty good stuff. I'm hoping that I got enough footage for you guys because it started getting like really loud and busy in there. So cross my fingers for that. Hopefully that comes out good. But I cannot wait to get back home and wash everything and show you guys what I got because I got I scored on some really cute last minute things that I'm really excited about. So I'll see you guys back home with the haul. Bye. Welcome to the haul portion of this video, guys. So I am excited as always to show you guys what I picked up at the Goodwill bins. I am absolutely obsessed with the Oxnard bins just because it reminds me so much of the Selena's ones. And of course, because it's like close to home. So I like visiting my family while I'm there. And I honestly found some really good stuff for it being 4th of July. It was not too busy. So let's just jump into the haul. I'm gonna start off with some accessories. The first thing that I picked up was this Brixton hat. I absolutely love this brand and I like these little golf style hats just because they are super um, cute and I love like the color of it just because it's perfect for fall and fall is literally around the corner guys. This one surprisingly fits me. I have a really huge head and I figured like maybe a large would fit me but this one I think is a medium and it fits me perfect so I think this one's staying in my hat collection for sure. And of course, this one is staying in my collection without a doubt. I'm huge on dad hats on my days off. I love to wear hats because, I don't know, I just like to be comfy and chill and sometimes for bad hair days. And of course, I picked up this Harley Davidson one. They are both washed already. I just kind of have to lint roll them a little bit. This one looks like it's quite old, honestly, based on the inside, but it's like a everyday kind of dad hat. I've already worn it a couple of times and I actually really, really like it. My husband and I love hats, so we... Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. It's a cute little gym hat too. I can just wear this to the gym. Anyways, this is another one that I'm keeping that I'm so thankful that I found because it's so freaking cute. Now let's get into the clothing part of this haul. Okay, these ones I am really excited for. I found these corduroy vintage white or silver tab Levi's. Um, everything is already washed. The only thing is that these do have a couple like stains that didn't come out. It looks like it could be like some paint stains or something. I really like how big the leg is. Like it's kind of like a flare. These are made in 90... 
These are made in 99, so they are a little over 20 years old. Um, they have a couple, like a distressed hole in there and some paint smudges. So I'm thinking just because they are like white, these might fit my husband actually. Yeah, this is actually my husband's size. So I'm thinking we could even like dip dye these or do something really fun with them if we just keep them in his wardrobe. Maybe like a brown, I feel like that would be cool. And it's perfect for fall. So maybe I can DIY that and show you guys how they turn out. But these were a really good pickup. I did come across another vintage pair of jeans. These are high-waisted and I love just the acid wash on these and the big floral print. I think it's super fun and different. You don't really see jeans like this anymore, or at least I don't. I feel like I always come across it just a solid color. Never in this acid wash, hardly ever, and this floral print is just so freaking beautiful. And honestly, this brand is a brand that I've never heard of before. It's called studded studded shirt jeans i've never came across that brand before and it is vintage it's made in the usa look at this tag it's so it's so old but yeah i thought these were super fun and cool i can't wait to bring these out and see who picks them up i did get pretty lucky in the skirt section i found this really this is this one's really bold okay but i love it look at these colors i know we're already like I know we're honestly steering more towards fall, but I feel like this could work in fall. I love just the vibrant colorway. I feel like it's giving me, I don't know, like it's very bright pink, but it's almost giving orange as well. So I feel like, I don't know if I'm just blind, but I feel like this would be a really good fall piece. I love a maxi skirt. These are always super cute and fun to style. Next three, I'm so excited for this brown paisley one. It just gives me like a whole like antique vibe. I love the colorway, the print. It's just overall really beautiful. This one is 100% silk. I love the colorway as well, the large floral print. I think it's so freaking beautiful. Unfortunately, I did not realize it was silk until I took it out of the dryer. So it did shrink a little at the bottom as you can see, but I don't mind this sticking out. I feel like it gives it character and it gives it like a layering look. So I think it's really cute. I was really honestly stunned when I found this dress because I feel like it's rare when I come across like a nice like trendy piece at the Goodwill bins and I found this paisley printed um, halter dress. I love the colorway. I think it's super beautiful obviously because it's paisley print, the halter, and then look at this hem guys. It's so freaking cute. I love how it goes into like a pointed hem. I think it's cute and I don't know, I might keep this for myself, but who knows? Once I try things on, maybe I might like them. I honestly just don't own a lot of dresses, so I feel like this would be a good piece to start my wardrobe with. So now we're gonna move on to tops. Honestly, I did not find a lot. I found mostly sweaters, but they're all super cute in my opinion. So let's just show you guys the first one. So the first one is kind of like this cropped, um, I know this has a name, like a shrug, no. There's a specific name for this type of top, but it's a tie front, I guess, like cardigan. But I just love these colors and these beaded details along the flowers, the trimming. I think it's so freaking adorable. It's perfect for a good transitional piece from summer to fall just because of the colorway of it and the style. I think you can really do a lot with this. So I did find this vintage t-shirt, it's Fruit of the Loom. I'm absolutely obsessed with this ivory colorway. I'm really big on wearing basics to work because I do hair for a living, so I don't like to wear a lot of my vintage clothes. So when I find pieces like this, I'm like, that would be perfect for work just because it is a basic, but it still has like a nice detail with all this like embroidery and kind of like eyelet lace. I think it's so freaking cute. And it makes a basic outfit not so basic. Oh, you know, there's n it's never a haul without finding Alfred Dunner. Alfred Dunner, man, he comes in clutch with all the beautiful like grandma pieces. I love this colorway. I think it's so beautiful. The floral detail and then all the little pearls throughout. I love that the pearls are like in the center. I think it's so adorable. This is a good, this is just a really good, perfect piece. I love it. Oh my freaking God, I love this one. Look how cute this is. It's giving like grandma, like cottage core, 
farm core vibes. I don't, I feel like I pictured myself wearing this with some brown high-waisted like flare pants or trousers. I just love the paisley print and the floral. I think it's so freaking beautiful. And obviously all the little beaded details, I don't know. It's just so freaking cute. I love that it's like a sweater still. I don't know, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And of course it's Alfred Denner. I love this one, it's super funky. And I bought this more of, a, more of like a nostalgia kind of vibe because I used to wear sweaters like this in high school all the time. And I feel like everyone would make fun of me and call me Bill Cosby. And I didn't care because I loved them. And I feel like I haven't came across a sweater like this in quite some time, so I had to get her. I did pick up a Disney sweater. I loved this color, first of all, and I told myself I can see myself wearing this when I take my kids to Disneyland because I do plan on doing that someday and I feel like it would definitely be in the winter and I just love this knit construction and obviously Mickey Mouse, he's so cute and it's a good oversized um, sweater for me to wear just with like some biker shorts and just be super comfy to be at Disneyland with my kids so yeah two last things that i found at the goodwill bins and that is blankets so the first blanket that i found is this one i've never came across one with such like holes i guess you could say i don't know but i thought this was really cute for like a picnic i don't know I'm going to la in august and i'm having like this picnic thing with my friend and i feel like this would be perfect for it but who knows i might or might not take it next one that i found is a quilt and i am devastated when i tell you it does not fit my bed my bed is a california the california king size bed and this is definitely for a queen and it's this quilted beauty look at how beautiful she is let me see if i can show you guys can you see it I don't know if you can see it, but it's so beautiful. It's like perfect. And honestly, it had a couple stains and I washed this three, this thing three times, stained, removed it and everything. So it is in perfect freaking condition now. I love like obviously the edges. I think it's so freaking beautiful. The colors are just oh, to die for. But unfortunately, it is not fit to my bed. So I think I am going to end up selling this because I am not, I don't have a queen bed. I have no use for this. I mean, I can pull it apart and make it into like some outfits or like DIY, but I honestly don't want to do that just because I don't want to ruin it. And it is just so precious that I feel like someone deserves it. Okay, hey guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys loved and enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure you guys give your girl a thumbs up down below. Comment your favorite item. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>